All right, uh, I figured I'd just do a little first play here, or a little... I've been playing through this game for quite a while now, I probably have 20 plus hours on it. It's called Project Gorgon. I just kind of stumbled upon it when I was searching for other games similar to Ashron's Call, and this is really... This is really... It's so similar. It's got a lot of the aspects that I wanted from Ashron's Call, but it's just like... It made it a little more simplified for me kind of understand what's going on not needing wiki wiki p wikis as much you know so uh, this is my main guy right here Shaquem and uh, in this game you can befriend characters and uh, by doing different things for them and giving them gifts then eventually you can hang out with them and what that enables you to do is uh, basically gain favor with them so that they like you better uh, basically level offline, yeah, is the easy thing. So I'll select my main guy here, hop in. So, uh, right now it's an alpha, but it, it is so big so far, it's got so much going on for it. Um, it's got its little hicks and bumps here, but here we go, it just told me that I completed that clot, that, uh, quest right there while I was offline. And this quest took an hour. So far, I think my longest one that I've seen is 14 hours, but I haven't taken it yet. With that, I got more favor with him, and I got myself some apple juice. The inventory's open here. Oh, there's cows running around all... Okay, here we go. Anyways, uh... So some things I wanted to show off in here was uh, you don't start off in this city. This is probably the first city you're gonna come out uh, come to after the tutorial city, because everything's here basically that you need. Pick up all different kinds of things as you go though. Um, initially your skills, your skill window window won't look like this. It'll be a lot smaller. So I thought there was a lot less skills, but as you meet different people and do different quests, you'll uh, unlock all different kinds of skills you, you can buy new skills my biggest ones I've been working on right now is fishing and cooking and sword and I was doing archery for a while but I just finally picked up a sword to boost my armor back up I had a good necklace that boosted my or no it was gloves that boosted my armor but then I found uh, Let's see where are they? these ones here. Which seem to be a lot better. See these ones give you 40 damage. Plus mentalism. Plus one. I don't use mentalism right now too much. This one takes away fire damage, gives you plus 16 armor, which doesn't really compare. Gives me five more health. All these extra little bonuses here. I'm gonna drink this apple juice. Got 100 points to my gourmet level. If you go to your skills too, it'll tell you all different what everything's all about. I love how you can see what you've eaten. Another favorite one in here is your uh, notoriety. Uh, whoops, you've seen it. Ally man. And, uh,. It tell, tells you uh, who you've killed that actually gives you the notoriety when you killed them and how many times you've killed them. And it gives you some pretty cool benefits. Get more favor for doing things, for give, giving gifts and that. Anyways, you can interact with just about everything. It's crazy. Get myself some water. These are usually things that people drop on the ground. I've already got that. You can pick it up though. Let's go see some NPCs so I can explain the quests and stuff. Talk to them. So, uh, here's where you can buy and sell everything. Sometimes they have some good stuff, sometimes they don't. Used is pretty sweet because it has all different kinds of things in here that other people are selling. Once you get to a good enough favor with favor level with them I'll show you favor 
Okay, so uh, you can if you go to Small Talk, it will tell you some things that they like and what they don't like, that will give you favor points. And right now my level is neutral, and the more points I get, it'll bump me up to a different level. And after neutral becomes comfortable, so it'll open up a whole bunch of new options. And one of my friends in the game, or uh, the NPC friends, they've given me an option right now, basically for an auction house type deal. So. I imagine they'll all open up to do that. Uh, do favors where the quests are. This guy doesn't have any more quests for me. Shop, obviously. Here's consignment weapons and armor. A little more expensive. Oh, there's somebody right over here. Some pretty neat stuff. Looks like some kind of a mage. I'm just working on a fighter, a sword fighter character right now. Uh, with this guy, you can barter as well. I don't have anything he wants. Had to drop some stuff when I was in the dungeon the other day. Give gift like I was telling you. Opens up your inventory. You can just drop it in there. Give him whatever he wants. If it's something he doesn't want, you just basically lose it and it's gone. You click on another guy, you can examine them. I haven't seen any PvP so far, but I've only been in a couple of zones. Uh, See, so you can trade, invite the group, become friends. Tells you a little bit about them. Another guy there. Different shops. You, there's all different people. Training. She trains you things too. Making different arrows. You can craft just about everything in here. This is just a temporary NPC. And he sells chemistry, chemistry stuff, it says. For making probably... Uh, different bombs and whatnot. Here's another guy. He teaches you all about fire magic and fire stuff so you can basically become a fire mage. I found so much equipment for that kind of stuff but finally I got my shield for my fighter. Here's a lot of the recipes I've unlocked for all, all different things. There might be, I'm pretty sure there's more stuff than just this. But, uh, this is everything that I've learned right here. Cooking. There's a shop over here. You can cook. There's an NPC. This one's actually probably the closest with me. No, maybe not. We're friends. This is the next time we hang out, we can do different things. And it will give me different skill points towards... I don't know, it just depends, I guess. That might be cooking, it could be. That could. That would probably be fishing, for sure. And here's all the different things that you can cook. He has no fingers. Here's another guy I've been working with a lot, another NPC. And we is twice, see here's consignments right here. And that's basically things that you can sell. I'm pretty sure, basically like an auction house, so you can see it. So this right here I know is a quest item, and I've already finished it. What's it say the value of it is? 10? I'm gonna set it for, I've never done this before, but he will sell it for the next seven days. Needs no favor or shop. I need nothing from you. Will you buy us anything from me? Ooh, I'll take my giant spider legs. Need these feathers for quests. That's okay because spiders are everywhere. Uh, hang out. Here we go. He has a ten hour. Hang on, I'm going to just do that so that I don't forget to do it later. Alright, uh, anyways. Let's take a look at some other things. Right here they have account status. So, um, you can either create a guest account when you first start, or you can make an actual account 
which makes a little more sense I think so you can keep your progress but I like this because once I've registered has my information here and then uh, I can put the bug in or uh, uh, any suggestion that I w that we have for the game or anything that we think that we need I've just been so caught up in the game though that I can't think of any suggestions at the moment and I have to look through the forums to see what's been suggested and what not Oops. Um, then you have your inventory like I showed you and the cool thing is the more endurance you get the more inventory slots you'll actually unlock yeah so that's what I'm trying to do got your chat uh, skills like I showed you your map there's no big map it's just a mini map you place markers on it and I believe the better you are at geology no not geol geography or something or something else yeah or surveying you'll be able to put more points just popped up there so it kind of reminded me uh, what else? okay and here's our quest window it's really basic it doesn't tell you where to go or what to do or anything like that it's just straight up and down I know this is in a different zone right here so I'm waiting to do that that's in a dungeon but here's something I noticed the other day that I kind of like. It has uh, a lot of different goals that you can do here. Probably different uh, thing, different rewards depending on it. You can put notes in. I love the questing though. And eventually, I think once I've done enough, enough quests, uh, and you have a selected quest in your quest log, you can click on this right, right here and uh, because the quest that I have selected like I said was in a different completely different zone that's way far away from here it won't show you until you're in that zone so uh, but usually it will turn you right to the quest giver which is really sweet My recipes pets you can tame animals I've only been able to tame rats so far because I haven't really messed with it too much and I believe they'll fight with you. Look. Hello, kitty. Here's the weird little gear window. Racial slot. I gotta find out what the racial slot is. I'll look that up. And then here's all my effects that I have on me right now. And their timers. Terrified of rats for some reason. But a lot of this stuff is just role play right now and it doesn't actually affect you. Same with having lice. Lice, I guess, if it does affect my max power because my hygiene's down one uh, stats just depending on where all your skill levels are and whatnot and then uh, as you level up in each uh, weapon you'll unlock new skills and they'll actually get higher higher as you go I have uh, that turned to number two two down here I have uh, I've been doing with my swords Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Comparing to Okay. Unarmed. And then uh my action bar. That right there is if uh you're running low on power which you use for attacking and catching fish and doing whatever. You can use that and it will summon a little bit of health and power back. That's just uh throwing bombs, using first aid, patch armor, gut fish. I don't know what gut fish, I haven't used it yet. That's how you tame animals, that's how you find your quest. And that's just a stronger gut fish. 